Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to share with you this Unify 6LR from Ubiquity. Why? Because it might be worth an upgrade for you. Well, of course, I can tell you right now it's worth an upgrade. But we're going to compare them side by side with the previous model of this one. We currently deployed the Unify LR. There are a lot of lineups in their website, but we chose this one because it is just right up the lineup of the previous model that we are currently using. Let's go ahead and quickly unbox it, try to see what's inside the box. So here you go. Let's compare it to the original ACLR. So on my left is the LR and the new one is the Unify 6 LR. And we can clump this one together and you can see the size difference. So it's way bigger than the original LR. Well, included in the box is an organized set of accessories that you can use to mount. Now, I want to show you in my dashboard that all of the access points, most of it, are ACLR. So, these are not Unify 6LR, okay? So, I just want to show you. Now, the quick specification of the long-range AC is 5 gigahertz, 867 megabits throughput rate, then you have the 2.4 which is 450 and of course the coverage which is around 180 meters or 600 feet now the price range is 109 usd now let's compare this one with the stat sheet of unify 6 long range which stands for lr and the 6 kind of identifies that Wi-Fi 6, the new technology, which has 5 gigahertz 4x4 up and down with 2.4 gigahertz 4x4 as well, and a big bump in speed, which is 3.0 gigabits. But of course, you will have also a big bump on price, which is $179. Now, here's a graphical overview, which we compare both 124% speed increase from APACLR to Unify 6 long range. You can see the numbers. 3,200 megabits per second versus 1,317 megabits per second. Now, of course, with the coverage, you can see it is multiplied by two, where in your LR around 600 feet, of course, your Unify 6 long range would multiply that by two, which is 1,200 feet, square feet, okay? So it can go 300 distinct client connections. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is connect this Unify 6 LR into our existing Wi-Fi network. This will be a big upgrade, and maybe sooner or later, we'll start to upgrade those old uh, ACLR access points in our network. But this will be the very first one. Now, of course, we know that Wi-Fi 6 is the new generation technology for Wi-Fi devices. But of course, take in account that you cannot use Wi-Fi 6 technology if your devices are not Wi-Fi 6 capable, okay? So there you go, it's going to light up and here on my dashboard, it will just jump in here and say, we have detected a new device. Do you want to adapt this one or add it to your network? Of course, that's what I wanna do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click add. Then we're just going to wait for a moment here. I'll try to locate that. Um, this is not the page where we can see that one. So let's jump into devices. Then here, down below here, you have U6LR. It has been detected and it has been up for two minutes. It's starting to update this one and add it to the network. In my time here, I timed this one. It will take you about eight minutes plus reboot to add this one to the existing network and it can be usable right away without any configuration. The only thing you're going to do is just click add and this will do the rest of the things. The U6LR has been adopted. You can see here that it is green indicated. So what I wanna do is rename this U6LR, okay? Go ahead on the settings page on the upper right corner and you can see name. I'll just name this one as dev team, okay? So once we are going to apply these changes, the, the access points is going to restart again. As you can see, it turned yellow. And by the time it's going to come up, it should be having dev team status name. 
All right, here we go. Dev team is up and running. There are no clients connected to it yet. So I just want to go and um, check on that. You can see it here, U6LR, Dev team. I want to check it on the topology on how it is connected so that we can have an overview of it. So there you go. You can see that dev team right just there. Nobody is connected to that access point yet. But if somebody is going to connect, you can map them right away on this page. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the status indicator. A while back, that was I mean, uh, white. But once everything is configured, like what we did, it will turn blue and it will look like a very cool device that you are going to deploy or kind of mount it on the ceiling or wall wherever you want to place it okay well i hope you have learned something from this video guys thank you for watching and of course if you have any questions just drop a comment down below if you are not yet subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and hope to see you on my next video bye